Hello everyone. We will continue the topic number range. In the previous video, we covered the number range significance of number range. Then we created the number range object. We provided the number range interval based upon our requirement. We created the table and we created the program. Now in that program, we use the database operation insert. And as of now, we are inserting employee name, employee age, and employee address. Now we need to go for employee ID because from the starting of the topic itself, our base is how, how we can generate the employee ID automatically. That's why we have a concept of number range. So just we did the first step. Yes, we created the number range object. We assign the interval. Yes. Now we will simply, simply use this function portal. And whatever we created, we will pass everything to this function module so that this function module will generate the next number and we will use that number. So what I will do, I will copy this function module number get next. You all know you can call the function module through the pattern button. So I will go to pattern button. This is our function module. It is very easy to remember the function module name. Get the next number. Now, whatever you, whatever the information you passed while creating the number range object, just pass same to same thing to this particular function module. Suppose we have two mandatory parameters. What is first one? NR underscore range underscore NR an object. Just double click and check what is this nr underscore range underscore nr. I will double click. I will go for yes. Now I will go for import nr underscore range underscore nr. It is number range number number range number. Just see your SNRO transaction code. Just see your SNRO transaction code. You provided the number range object. When you clicked on to the interval, you provided the serial number or number range number, number range number. So what is the number range number? 01. So I will simply, simply put 01. 01. And it is very easy to predict also by the length itself. Anyways, we have the description. If you will double click on the data type, what are the type? If I will double click, you can see it is of character two, character two. And the length is what? Character two only. This is character two only. Now I will go to back button. I will go to back button. Now we will pass the object. What is the number range object we created? So I will pass the name of the number range object. This is ZEMPID. So I will put ZEMP ID. So I pass the serial number, number range number. I put the object. Now it will generate the number. So I will simply, simply uncomment importing and number. We want the number. We want the number. Suppose in front of this number, I will declare one variable. Suppose I am saying LV underscore number. Now, if I want to check what will be the type of LV underscore number, how I can check, I will simply, simply double click on to the function module. Here it is importing. It means in the function module, it will be exporting. I will go to export. You can see number. And now people will say there is no type given. So what I need to take the type of the number, you can simply, simply take it as I. You all know I stands for integer. Yes, here no type is given. So you can simply, simply take it as I. And the description in itself, it is free number. We want the employee ID number. So I will simply declare data 
एल बी अंडर स्कोर नंबर टाइप आई नाउ नाउ वी आर पासिंग द नंबर रेंज नंबर वी आर पासिंग द नंबर रेंज ऑब्जेक्ट इट विल रिटर्न द नंबर इट विल जेनरेट द नंबर and whatever the number will generate we will get into this particular variable best practices always always uncomment the exceptions now whatever the employee id number we are getting whatever the next available number we are getting we will pass it to work area and whenever we will pass it to work area it will insert to the database table so now i will simply write lwa underscore emp now what is the column name eid is equal to lv underscore number suppose this particular function module is generating the employee id 1 so we'll pass the employee id 1 it will go to database table next time it will go for 2 3 4 so every time we are passing the employee id to this work area from this work area it will simply insert to the database table now if insert is successful i will give a message also suppose i am writing if size sub rc equal to 0 now i will simply write the right statement right suppose i will go for employ id okay we'll go for text symbol anyways we should never hard code text hyphen 000 employ id inserted successfully and i will give the number of the employ id suppose i will write here because in this we have the number of the employ id i will double click on to this text symbol i will go for yes now i will suppose give employee id inserted successful i will go for activation so if insert is successful it will write employee id inserted successfully and what the employee id inserted because whatever the employee number we are generating we are passing it to this particular work area so what is the summary of this particular video this video is important because whenever you are getting a task that you need to go for number range three important steps you have to cover firstly you need to create the number range object then you need to assign the values to that number range object value means interval but what will be the number between that particular range last step because anyways you are a abap consultant so you need to use the function module number get next this function module will generate the next available number and we will use that particular number so as a part of that we use this function module number get next we pass the number range number we pass the object and in the return we will get the number now whenever we double clicked on to this number is of not of any type sap has not given any type so i simply declared as i never forget to uncomment the exceptions whatever the available number is generating we are passing it to work area employee id and we are inserting that to database table if the insert is successful we simply provided the message through that text symbol now in the next video i will go for full full understanding in that debugging mode because now people will think you created the number range object you assign the interval after that we are simply using this function module how this function module is generating everything how the function module is generating the number we will go for full full detail in the debugging mode will simply go for dnro nriv and you will understand because ultimately from a bap consultant perspective 
the knowledge of this function module is important because anyways we are writing the code so at that time we will simply go for this function module sometimes in the project number range object assigning the interval to number range object those things are done by the functional person but ultimately from a technical perspective you should know how to go for this function module so in the next video will go for full, full understanding in that debugging mode of this function module. Also, if some confusion is there, it will be automatically cleared. So that's it in this video. Thank you.